Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the ST segment and the T wave which is found on the ECG. So let's get started. And the ST segment represents the completion of ventricular depolarization and the beginning of ventricular repolarization. And this segment should be flat, hence it should be isoelectric, meaning flat. So there should be no depression of it or elevation. And isoelectric is a word that is used to describe straight across lines of the PQRST complex that represents that the heart cells are resting. They're not contracting and causing electrical activity, so none's being transmitted to the EKG. Then here we have the T wave. The T wave represents the beginning of ventricular repolarization, so relaxation. And the ventricles are so big that whenever they relax, it creates this T wave. And then after the T wave, you usually have a flat line, which is representing ventricular repolarization is complete. It's a flat line, isoelectric. And then the cycle starts immediately again, where you get a new P wave. QRS complex T wave and it just keeps going on. Now sometimes after the T wave you may see a U wave. It's not the case in a lot of patients but in some patients and it may be happening because your patient's potassium levels low like in hypokalemia. So now let's recap all that information and look at this PQRS T complex and see how depolarization and repolarization is occurring in each part of that complex. So here section one is the P wave that represents atrial depolarization beginning, so we have the contraction of the atria. Then two, that was our PR segment, that was atrial depolarization complete, so it's done. Then three was our QRS complex, and it represented ventricular depolarization beginning, and in there, but you can't really see it, is atria repolarization, it's relaxing. Then four is our ST segment, and that is ventricular depolarization completing. Then we have five, which represented our T wave, and that is is ventricular repolarization beginning and then six is that flat isoelectric line and this is ventricular repolarization complete. Here's the ST segment. This starts at the end of the S wave and stops at the start of the T wave. It should be flat, shouldn't be elevated or depressed. And if it is, it should be no more than one millimeter. And here is an example of an abnormal ST segment. Here we have ST elevation. Here we have ST depression. Followed by this is the T wave. And the T wave should come after the QRS complex and should be round and in the upright position in most leads. Okay, so that wraps up this video. And if you'd like to watch more videos on ECG interpretation, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.